Hello, it's Andre again, and this is the Wakeac Documents project focused on web accessibility. In this video, I will talk about the Wakeac Criterion 1.3.5 Identify Input Purpose. You can also read it online at accessibility.actumdigital.com where you will find more information. Let's get into it. The intent of the success criterion is that the purpose of each input field that collects information about the user can be programmatically determined to make filling forms easier. Who benefits from it? People who have difficulties with language, memory or making decisions can benefit from the browser's autofill feature because they don't have to remember the information themselves. People with motor impairment benefit from it reducing the need for manual input when completing forms. People who like the convenience of autofill. It is important to offer extra information about form inputs, such as those for address, phone or password, in a way that a computer can understand. This makes it possible to present the information in various ways to users. Simply providing a label and a type attribute for relevant input fields is not sufficient to meet this success criteria. The type attribute alone may not clearly indicate the purpose of the input field. For instance, type text does not specify what kind of information is expected from users. The label describes it, but the information must be programmatically determined to ensure accessibility. To establish this programmatic connection, use the autocomplete attribute with an appropriate value for the input field. You can refer to the section 7 of the WCAG recommendation titled Input Purposes for Users Interface Components to find a list of possible values to use for this attribute. Browsers and assistive technologies use this information to help the user in various ways, including automatically completing forms and filling in usernames and passwords, but also pairing custom icons with form elements for users who prefer using images for communication or who have trouble understanding words. For instance, the assistive technology may place a credit card image near the field requesting the credit card number input, making it easier for users to input the number. This criterion only applies to the data of the user filling out the form. Use the autocomplete attribute only for form inputs that collect the user's personal information not information about other people. For example, on a shared calendar event form where one user invites others, the autocomplete attribute can be used for the user's own emails but not guests' emails. Let's take a look at some examples. The following example shows the correct usage of an implementation of accessibility. A simple form. The page contains a simple form with inputs for the first and last names. The autocomplete attribute has the value given name for the first name input and a family name for the last name input. These are the correct values to use. The following example shows the incorrect usage of implementation of accessibility. Missing and invalid values. The page contains a simple form with inputs for the first and last names. The autocomplete attribute is missing for the first name input and has the value family name in camel case format for the last name input. The first input is missing the programmatic association because the autocomplete attribute is missing. The second input has the incorrect programmatic association because the autocomplete value is in the wrong format family name in camel case instead of family dash name in kebab case. And that was all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you at the next one. Have a nice day.